And now we're ready to test the actual motion. I'm going to tell the printer to home the x, y, and z axes. So all of the components should start moving in a specific direction and hit the end stop. Here's some things that can happen. One, the motors can not move at all. They could be moving in the wrong direction. Uh, they could be shaking and do weird things. Also, the things can happen. So what you want to do is to position the y and the z in the middle, presuming that you're not actually sure if it's going to be moving up or down or left or right. In fact, it should be all OK. But this is the correct troubleshooting procedure. Then I'm going to tell it to home x, y, and z. x first, y second, z third. And I'm going to be ready to turn the printer off if it goes in the wrong direction. It should start moving towards the end stop so it can hit it. So let's do that. Press once, and there's home, x, y, and z. All good. All good. All good. Now I'm going to break the printer so you can see what bad things can happen and how to fix them. Anytime you're plugging in or out the motors, you want to turn the printer off. You don't want to be doing any of that live. It could damage the drivers. And then you need to get new drivers. It's pretty cheap, but why would you do that? The thing that can happen, number one, is that the motor will be moving in the wrong direction. I'm going to tell the printer to home x, y, z again. Observe. x went towards the right instead of left, so it never hits the end stop, so it doesn't know that it should stop. It's a very stupid machine, so it just stays there trying to do its thing. There's two ways to fix that, and it's probably not your fault, but sometimes the wires from the manufacturer can come with different pin configuration. That may happen, even though it probably will not. You can reverse the direction of the, dri of the motors in software, or very easy, you can just reverse the connector. <laughs> now it's all good. Reversing the connector for a stepper driver, for a stepper motor, reverses the, direc the direction of the motor. All right. Second thing that can go wrong. Again, I'll tell it to home. Let's see what happens. It sort of worked, but really, it, it had like no clue what it was doing. It went in one direction, then in another direction. Finally, it hit the end stop, but that was really just by luck. Basically, it doesn't know what's happening. This points to some problem with the connection from the motor to the driver. It could be bad wire. It could be a loose connector. It could be a loose pin on the connector on either side. In general, connectors are the Achilles heel. That's the first thing to check. Or, very simply, it could be that the motor connector is only plugged on three instead of four pins, which is the same, technically, than having one of the four wires broken or bad. It's just that one of the connections is missing. Like I'll plug it back in on all four. It's all good. Obviously, a problem would be if it wasn't connected at all, which may happen. It just wouldn't move. I don't think I have to demonstrate that. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Quick check. Uh, OK, we'll do one thing. Which part? Z. I'll do the Z. I'm going to be showing the little LED light on the bottom of it, of, of the sensor. Oh. Okay. But, but I, what I can do is I just put it low so you see the reflection yeah, of it. it. Yeah, let me see. I, I know I saw Oh, I see it there. Yeah. All right, let's get it tighter. Yeah, if you can, that's good if you can either point to it or somehow interrupt it. Yeah, I'll do that. Exactly, I'll be doing that. 
right. And we'll, we'll probably do a, cl a cutaway close up for that. But right now, I want to mainly see the Z motor. No, not the motor, the, the just sensor. Just the sensor. Just sensor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just the sensor. Okay, well, I got it. I could also like put it super high so you can see it. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, that's, that's, that's okay. Okay. No, I, I want to. Hmm. Okay. There's also a lot of light yeah. on it, so yeah, it's kind of yeah, hard to it's see. Yeah, got the bright light next to it, but that's okay. I can see it. Okay. So if yeah, yeah, you keep it roughly in that all right, position all right. on the on the build plate. Exactly in the same okay, position. Good. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. For the proximity sensor, there's a quick hardware check you can do if you have any problems with the proximity sensor to see if the actual hardware is working. And if it is, then you know it's something with the software or the connection. If you look closely. At the bottom of the proximity sensor, there is a red LED light. And that one is on all the time. It turns off when it gets engaged. So as a ferromagnetic metal comes close to the sensor, it should turn off. You can see the reflection of the red light right now in the build plate. I'm going to put my tweezers down here. These are metal. Oh, and you can see that it turns it off as I pass close to the sensor. There we go.